a teenager is accused of setting a fire to a home in Splendora while people were sleeping inside. The home is owned by Splendora superintendent, her husband, and their daughter. Tonight, neighbors are shocked and wondering who would set their home on fire. Our Malini Basu joins us live from Montgomery County with new details. Malini? That's right, Lisa and Greg. People living in this small town of Splendora tell us they are just shocked by what happened. It's been about 40 hours or so, and still no one is allowed back inside of the house. Just a short time ago, we've learned that there is a female, a female teen in custody, and we're told that she is very familiar with the family. A smoke alarm is the wrong kind of alarm to wake up to in the morning, but that was the sound that woke up Splendora Superintendent Dr. Janice Bell and her family on Sunday morning. Bell, seen here in a picture from the district's website, was burned on her head and feet while trying to rescue her 13-year-old daughter from her bedroom, which was heavily damaged. She suffered minor burns. The girl's father, David Bell, seen here from the Shepherd Middle School website, where he is the assistant principal was not hurt. Neighbors were shocked. She's been with Splendora just a few years. Um, she's new to the area. She moved from out of out of town. Holly Miller works under Dr. Bell. She was surprised to learn it was an arson fire set by a teenager. I don't know how you could either, even at a young age fathom doing anything like this. I don't know why they would do that. Kelsey Fontenot is friends with the couple's daughter. Um, she plays eighth grade basketball. Um, and I see her like in the locker rooms. And Investigators say someone doused the house with gasoline, then set it on fire. I see it on Facebook, like, because like it's really sad. Like they're all praying for her and their family. Teachers are hoping the superintendent gets back on her feet soon. She's really um, helping us, the teachers, push hard for um, building um, more academic skills and what's lacking. Dr. Bell and her daughter are expected to make full recoveries. We're told that they're doing just fine. The daughter told police she saw someone running out of the house, but she couldn't give police an exact description. Coming up at 6 o'clock, we will have much more on this investigation. For now, we are live in Splendora tonight. Malini Basu, KHOU 11 News.